name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. We are joyfully to celebrate the solemnity of all saints. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you call us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you, say, you save us from ourselves. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you sustain us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on, and on earth, earth peace, peace to people, people of good goodwill. Will. We, we praise, praise you, you, we bless, bless you, you, we, we adore, adore you, you, we glorify you, you. We, we give you thanks for your, your great, great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, heavenly King, King, King O God, God Almighty Father, Father Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only, only begotten, begotten Son, Son, Lord God, God Lamb, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in, in the, the glory, glory of God, God the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading, a reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw another angel come up from the east, holding the seal of the living God. He cried out in a loud voice to the four angels who were given power to damage the land and the sea. Do not damage the land or the sea or the trees until we put this seal on the foreheads of the servants of our God. I heard the number of those who had been marked with the seal, 144,000 marked from every tribe of the Israelites. After this, I heard a vision of a great multitude which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. They stood before the throne and before the Lamb, wearing white robes and holding palm branches in their hands. They cried out in a loud voice, Salvation comes from our God, who is seated on the throne and from the Lamb. All the angels stood around the throne and around the elders and the four living creatures. They prostrated themselves before the throne, worshiped God, and exclaimed, Amen, blessing and glory, wisdom and thanksgiving, honor, power, and might be to our God forever and ever. Amen. Then one of the elders spoke up and said to me, Who are these wearing white robes, and where did they come from? I said to him, 
My Lord, you are the one who knows. He said to me, These are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, see what love the Father has bestowed on us that we may be called the children of God. Yet so we are. The reason the world does not know us is that it did not know him. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope based on him makes himself pure as he is pure. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. Spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up to the mountain, and after he had sat down, 
his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today the Church celebrates the solemnity of all saints. It is the great feast of recognition of God's universal work of salvation to his own people of all times and places, people of all age, gender, or socioeconomic status who fought against the power of evil during their lives here on earth and through God's own grace, they are now in heaven. It is the feast which invites all living people to elevate our spiritual eyes into the saints in heaven and trace their spiritual journeys here on earth. These saints in heaven are our sisters and brothers, our parents and grandparents and great-grandparents. They are our children and grandchildren. They are our fellow country women and men, fellow neighbors who lived the lives of Anna before God here on earth. John, in the first reading today, sees the vision of a great multitude which no one could count from every nation, race, people, and tongue. John is asked by the one of the elders, who are these wearing white robes and where did they come from? John could not provide the answer and he is informed these are the ones who have survived the time of great distress. They have washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. The psalmist identifies these people by saying, Lord, this is the people that longs to see your face. These are the people who embrace the beatitude of Christ as they are spelled out in today's gospel. As we celebrate the Feast of All Saints, we continue to admire life stories of these people and see how they nurtured their friendship with God during their life, earthly life. In this admiration, we inform ourselves that God has called all people to holiness and our current life is the golden opportunity to nurture and craft the relationship with God. Earthly lives of saints show us that though they experience variety of suffering in their lives here on earth, their suffering was nothing compare, comparing to the love of Christ. They remained faithful to the love of Christ to the, to the very end of their lives, and now they are crowned with crown of sainthood. We too are saints in potency as we continue to value our friendship with Jesus despite all the struggles and pains we experience in our day-to-day -day life. Happy All Saints Day. I believe in God, the Father the Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven, heaven and, and earth, earth, and in Jesus Christ, Christ his, his only Son, Son our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. As God's people on earth, let us unite our prayers with all the saints in heaven for the needs of men and women everywhere. That the church, the joyful mother of a great company of saints, may bring all her children to the kingdom of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the example of the saints may inspire vocations to marriage and family and to the priesthood and consecrated life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all people of goodwill may receive true life and abiding peace through the redeeming blood of Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who suffer persecution in the cause of right may continue steadfastly in the way the saints walked before them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That in offering and receiving the Eucharist, we may respond to God's universal call to holiness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the saints may intercede for our physical and spiritual health and well-being during the coronavirus pandemic, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who have gone before us in faith may be brought speedily to behold God forever, especially, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father of holiness and grace, we offer our petitions with prayers of Blessed Mary and all the saints, confident in your mercy revealed in their heroic lives as we make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. sacrifice in you as may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of his holy church. May these offerings we bring in honor of all saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience their consent for our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today, by your gift, we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her, 
we eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church through whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make it holy there for these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Douglas Lucia our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be coheres to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and found by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth, earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not, not into temptation, temptation but, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance to your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins sin of, of the, the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, you take, take away the sins the of, the, sin of world. the world. Have, Have mercy, mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you would enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all saints, we implore your grace so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May the Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives. Thanks be to God.